हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सीसा दिस मच दिस इज आदित्य एंड दिस इज माय सेकंड वीडियो सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ यू नो द चेंजेस व्हिच आर एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑगस्ट सो एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन द पास्ट सो इन केस इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच दैट वीडियो आई आई विल शेयर द लिंक ऑफ द अर्लियर वीडियो आल्सो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन सो यू कैन गो एंड वॉच दैट वीडियो फर्स्ट एंड देयर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू नो यू नो what will be the changes like you know uh, what percentage of changes expected you know from the new syllabus and all those things we have discussed in that video okay so this is the uh, uh, you know uh, a sheet which is uh, which was launched very recently by by the isaka so uh, this is the 2024 timeline dates where they have you know discussed you know uh, you know when you can expect the new materials and everything but you know as i've told you in the in, in the earlier video that don't get scared don't panic that you know a new material means everything would be new no it's not like that okay there would be few new edit ad additional topics for sure okay amendments would be there some old topics would be removed some new topics would be added right with regard to the question answers the old question answers normally doesn't get obsolete we have seen this in the past also when the you know when uh, the amendment happened you know i think it happened in 2015 or 2016 something so that time also we have seen the same uh, you know thing that you know the questions doesn't get retired it doesn't get obsolete okay so whatever questions we are having as of now you know those are still applicable okay in case some new questions are added or new or or the questions on the new topics okay for 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 those also i'll definitely make a video and i'll update uh, you know all of our uh, enrolled students right and uh, for the amendments also i'll update everyone on on the on this youtube channel so please subscribe to this uh, youtube channel so that you get all the updates with regards to the you know new amendments and and whatever what topics are added and what topics are deleted so uh for 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 that we will have a uh, video you know uh, next month so uh, isaka uh, without wasting much time let's discuss what exactly they have mentioned in this particular uh uh 2024 timeline date is that you know so uh, since we all know that you know they uh, publish the materials in various languages right so we 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 want to look uh, you know for the english language right so Uh, english language means it's green in color right so they have uh, mentioned when the review manual 28th edition would be available for the print option okay so it would be uh, you know available from 1st of may 2024 right so it can go uh, you know sometimes they mention as 1st of may and it might be you know uh, available from 2nd of may so it can uh, you know uh, i mean it's not that you know 1st of may you know sharp it will be available so sometimes it, they may have some delay also but they have mentioned this uh, timeline that on 1st of may you will be having the print version of this review manual okay so understand one thing we have this ebook as well as the print version okay ebook means it's a, a soft copy and the print version means you will be getting the hard copy the physical copy right uh, in case of the question answers the the qa we have the database and the print version okay so in in case of the uh, qa so you can you can see over here it's qa uh, print edition which would be launched on 5th of june 2024 right uh, and the qa the database version okay so i'll just mention over here that see there are two things okay when it comes to the uh, review manual right you have two things you can either go for the ebook version or you can go for the print version soft copy or hard copy right in case of the uh, official qa book you can either go for the database version or database it's like a software okay so you will be getting a software where, which you will be installing in your laptops and and you know uh, from there you you can you know practice the official question answers that's a that's database for you and then you have what you have the print version the, the print edition of the qae right so what they have mentioned is 
so uh, when they say green in color it means the english version okay so in case uh, you know if you if you are in, if you are from uh, maybe some different countries and if you are going to appear in some different language you can you know uh, check this uh, document for the relevant language but i am i'll be discussing mainly for the english version and right, so english version review manual 28th, 28th edition print version 1st of may and then the ebook will also be uh, launched on the same date 1st of may right then you have the qa database the software version again the 1st may so qa software version would be from the 1st of may and as i as i've told you already that the old question doesn't retire that easily so the whatever questions you are having for this it is still applicable and in fact most of the questions would be repeated so this, this is what we have seen earlier also when uh, uh, so this is the actually the qa 13th edition so currently we are using the 12th edition of the qa they haven't mentioned the edition part they have just mentioned the year uh, but previously they used to mention the edition for the qa as well right so when when we uh, we have seen the change from the 11th edition to the 12th edition and there we have found that you know most of the questions are still the same okay so question answer parts it doesn't change right most of the things will still remain the same there can be new questions on the new topics so what is important for a person who will be going to appear for the new syllabus is that the new topics and the questions associated with those new topics so that is important for you right which is there in the official uh, question answers official qa book right but apart from that uh, you know everything uh, remains the same only right and i've and i've already made a video in the, in the past you know uh, you can go watch you can go go there and watch you know uh, uh, what is the expected syllabus change and everything okay uh, anyways so here uh, let's discuss about uh, this part which is the timeline so first may you will be having what you'll be having both so you'll be having a review manual the ebook and the print version but the question answer is only the software version okay uh then what is important for you is the uh, print version of the qa the qa print version okay uh, they have mentioned various things the trainer materials and all those things it's not applicable for you it's not relevant for you for as a student only two things are relevant the the, the manual and the qa okay apart from these two uh, you know uh, as such uh, nothing is relevant for you so whatever is relevant for you i'm discussing only that right and also the english version right so other language you can just you know refer this document for english version print edition 5th of june okay so if you order 5th of june it will take some one week of time like you know for you to get that physical copy okay so you can do that so they have mentioned this timeline so, so first of may they have they are, they are saying this the, these things would be uh launched right and then what else so june 5th of june they are saying you will be getting the print version you can print version would be for uh, would be available for ordering okay then what else they have mentioned the review manual 28th edition ebook so i have told you you have, you can go for the ebook also right so uh, ebook option was not okay review manual 20, 20th edition ebook was there okay so it means okay uh, i got it so this uh, this is like the different languages okay so you can like if you go here you can just look at this i think uh, it's in chinese and japanese and i think french right so those versions would be applicable so you will be getting the version on 1st of july right uh, what else we have for the english version okay uh, yeah i think that was it so since i've told you uh, you know yeah so exam exam from 1st of august you know whether you go for any of the uh, this thing language you have from 1st of august so they have mentioned clearly last date to take the current CISA exam version is 31st of july and i think they have mentioned in the past that you know you can register for this uh, exam in the current syllabus i think 26th of july right i think that's the last date to register yourself for the old uh, this thing and the last date to appear is 31st of july i would advise you in case if you are planning to give the exam of the old syllabus try to register now itself and but uh, you know don't go for the month of july right even if you want to appear for the month of july that's fine but go uh, uh, go ahead and you know uh, plan for the exam because you know uh, uh, and I, as, I, as as i always uh, tell this that do not go for the remote proctoring option because we have seen a lot of uh, issues you know which a uh, lot of students fa have faced in the past and uh, 
so i always advise to go for the test center option right so uh, if you are planning for or going for the test center option it's advisable try to you know uh, 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 register for the exam uh, maybe like uh, uh, at the max by the month of june right so that you, you get the available centers easily and don't wait for the last minute to register but the exam date i mean, I mean you can give it exam by uh, at the max by 31st of july but it depending upon the slots available right but uh, uh like uh, the exam for the for the for the new syllabus that would get uh, be uh, applicable from 1st of august so even if you want to uh, write the exam in the new syllabus you cannot write the exam in the new syllabus from next month you will have to wait till 1st of august in fact my advice would be like you know if you if you are planning to give the exam under old syllabus definitely you can plan till 31st of july to give the exam but in case if you, if you are planning to give the exam exam under new syllabus i would advise you to wait you know and give the exam in the month of september wait for the month of august so that you know in case some new thing comes you know uh, you know you will get to know okay because since a new th uh, i mean see as i've told you things will still remain the same nothing to panic about but still you know you will get some additional time to go for the new uh, materials and new uh, our our videos and everything so whatever whatever amendments would be there i'll be making videos for th for those and whether uh, whatever new questions are uh, uh, will be added i'll be making videos for that as well okay so in case if you're planning for giving the exam under new syllabus try to go i mean like uh, if not september after mid of the august like you know after after 15th of august you can plan for giving the exam under the old syllabus but do not register for the exam just by you know first august or second august you know that's not advisable right because since it's a new start for the new uh, this thing new exam uh, so my advice would be not to wait for some uh, additional weeks additional days right so this is what it is with this uh, so as i've told you you know whatever updates will be coming i'll be uh, updating in my youtube channel so that's the reason i thought of making a separate video for this since this document was uh, launched a few days back all right so thank you